Hi, Soren Pear. We've missed you. Hello, everybody. We are Soren Pear. Why not together? Um, and remember, Soren Pear is soaring together to explore new adventures while inspiring others to create their own. <laughs> and we have started our new adventure. We're actually coming to you from our RV. Finally. Yes, but it's been four months <clears throat> since we last posted anything, and people it's been a while. Yeah. have been asking what's going on, so we thought we'd do a little ketchup and um, mustard and mayonnaise and all that stuff, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe do a quick little tour and tell you our current state. Hint, we haven't left yet. <laughs> we are boondocking at the dealership. <laughs> yes, aren't we? Aren't we the adventurous type? Uh, wow. So... But yes, so it's been since March, um, so let's tell you what's happened. Um, we're moved we're out of our, we've moved yeah. out of our house yes. as, as of June 25th. Um, that was an adventure. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was kind of a wild ride, needless to say. Big house, so. We wanted, to, we wanted to do another episode in the house, and honestly, uh, kudos to Sandy. So she finished her job middle of April yeah and she started packing and this is the packing queen I am she actually worked for a moving company so I was very grateful <laughs> she was packing even before um, like almost two months before we started moving out thank God yes. thank God I started early uh, it's a good thing so she was packing boxes and then um, toward the end of May about a month before we moved out we got our storage yeah so we started taking several trips to storage, tetrasing boxes. <laughs> yeah. But all that hard work that you did was extremely helpful because when we got to the the week before moving day, um, we already had the 10 by 15 storage almost half full yeah. of stuff she had packed off the walls. We even got the pictures packed up and put away. We were thought we were ready we thought we were working and we you know it was a good thing that we worked ahead but you know best laid plans you think you're prepared and something always happens right so, so before we get to the moving though back to the rv so we bought the rv two months ahead of time thinking we're fine and we left it in the dealership that we bought it from uh, to get a few things put on a safety bar plus and uh, internet kind of an internet system that we're going to have dedicated safety Right, so we drove it out of the dealership to the RV storage, and like two days later, we got a recall notice from Ford, because this is a Ford chassis, a 2024 chassis, saying there could be a problem with the rear axle. But we don't know. But you better bring it in. And unfortunately, so. Ford makes like half the RV chassis out there. Right. So guess what happened? We, we were deep in line. <laughs> well, we took it to one dealer, we won't say who, um, and they said, yeah, we can take it. And two days later, they said, ah, come get it. We can't lift it up. What? Yeah. Like, so, they, like they didn't know this, but yes. Yeah. So, um, needless to say, we brought it to this dealership that we had in Phoenix now. I think today is six weeks. Five or six weeks? It's six weeks. We're, we're just entering into the sixth week. Yeah. And turns out there was a problem with the rear axle, so they have to order parts. But ordering parts, as a lot of you know, with the supply chain issues these days. Because of COVID, yeah. Um, here we are, and I just got an update from the guy saying it's going to be another week. And so we were like, you know what? It's here in the dealership. So we've decided we're going to boondock in the dealership, right? Yeah, we've been coming. <laughs> we've spent hours here. Um, we come in, we turn everything on, get the air going, do the pop, you know, the slide outs. And we've been coming in and um, doing the shelf liner and organizing and kind of moving in so that when we are getting the green light to go, that we'll be ready. Kudos to her again making this. And we'll show you here in a little bit um, what, you know, what she has really organized. I, we've done it together. I've just been relaxing in this, should I say, um, Oh, excuse me for a moment while I... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wake I up. Just have to show up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so back to our move. So it was the week before the move, and I had had my last day in my job, had a nice retirement party that 
she decided during the move. Yes, I decided to do like two weeks before we were moving out. But thank you. We had a lot of people show up. It was a lot of fun. It was house. fun. It was a lot. I of had fun. some of my friends from interfaith community come and we jam. Andrew on the guitar. Yeah. Uh, Cliff on the harmonica. It was great to see everyone. We had a great yeah. time. I uh, had 30 or 40 people come to the our near empty house. Uh, but it was fun. It was great. It was great. So the week before moving, I jump in and finally start helping this this poor lady who's been basically doing. He's it been busy working, so let's. He hasn't been doing nothing during all this time. <laughs> I was trying to develop a reputation here. Right? I, yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> no, I was doing my thing and working and finishing and tuning pianos like crazy, and Sandy was packing like crazy. So the last week we started cleaning. We started like getting the details. I was down on my hands. She was too, hands and knees, cleaning the baseboards. She was patching holes and priming. Spackling and painting and yeah. And I got to know Home Depot really well. <laughs> because we were trying to match a paint color in the Watch office. Him. And I went back three times and had them do three color matches. No good deed goes unpunished. The office didn't need to be painted. I was just trying to be thorough. And boy, boy did I screw up. It, it's my fault. Well, needless to say, she put primer on, and we just left it that way. <laughs> it kept way. getting worse and worse. It, they could not color match it, no matter what we did. Well, I don't understand. When paint is wet, and it matches perfectly, and then it dries and, it and goes dark. Perfect. Yeah. If it matches perfect, it should be darker originally, and then it fit. Anyway. Yeah, so, right? So not only was there three trips to Home Depot for the paint, mm -hmm. then I had three trips to Home Depot for the carpet cleaner on the stairs, because... Yours truly got an upholstery cleaner and didn't figure out I was pouring the water into the empty tank and the, the uh, what do they call it the reservoir reservoir tank instead of I'm like it's not working I took it back the second time they gave me the wrong parts the no third, pamphlet with it the third time I finally said give me one of those big carpet cleaners and it worked in fact it ended up working well the stair cleaners and the upholstery cleaners never work as well as the stair cleaners we know this but we didn't want the big bulky machine needless to say i made more trips to home depot in one week than <laughs> i have made in the last two years i felt so bad i'm like jim <laughs> i'm going to home depot again <laughs> i need you to go back i had a first name basis with all the paint people He's and like oh god i don't want to go back <laughs> the rent people um but so we we called and or excuse me we ordered online a cleaning service Oh. And was this a mistake? Because not oh. only did they switch cleaners, but they never came. So the cleaners that were supposed to clean the house for us, so floors, windows, the refrigerator. Don't get me started. Yeah. Didn't show up. Yeah. They, te <laughs> they texted me four or five times. Oh, this person's verified. Oh, no, they're not. This person's verified. Oh, no, they're not. And so here it is the day before they're supposed to be here. And I don't know if anybody's showing up. I was pretty livid. They it was a Groupon, came. so you kind of get what you pay don't, for. Don't do Groupon cleaning service again. I would recommend. Yeah, um, please, please don't. You know, save yourself the hassle. So yes. lesson learned. And, and I will say out. the name of that company, Cozy Made. Never use them ever. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a scam. Yeah. Needless to say, Friday morning came. We got the U-Haul truck. It was time to move out. And our kids, to their credit, Chelsea, Roderick, Thank you guys. Thank Shay, you. they came and busted hump with us we it really did we filled up the u-haul twice to take it to the to our 10 by 15 storage that we already had half packed and they did a great job of helping us pack everything yeah since the rv was not ready we also had to put the stuff we had set aside for the rv including our bikes but we jammed everything in there the front third of the storage is it, that was another fun tetris was trying to figure out how to keep stuff aside that is going to go to the rig versus stay in storage and so it's this juggle that we were doing. But we were fun. so happy we closed the door, it actually closed, locked the storage, went back and then it was time to move our older son out, Andrew. And now it's, dun, late. Dun, dun, dun. it's late Friday, we're tired. It's like 10 o'clock Friday, yeah. And we get all the stuff packed up, we still have clothes in our closet we haven't touched. Thank yeah. goodness that the owner didn't want to meet us till Saturday night, so we had some time. So we went, we drove about 20 miles to Andrew's apartment in Mesa, 
was offloading everything. We sold our, our old couch to him, because we have a couch. And we got one part of it in, but he he's in a half, a half landing with turns. This couch was too long. We twisted and turned it and almost got it wedged where we couldn't get it out. I was afraid we were gonna go through the neighbor's window. Well, we almost went through Andrew's window. Oh. And this is like 11 o'clock at night. We've been moving for 18 hours. Well, and he's in an apartment. I was afraid of the hour and the noise. So we finally neighbors. backed it out, threw it in the U-Haul, and I parked it close by, and I said, we'll deal with this tomorrow. So then that was Friday. Saturday, since we had extra time, Sandy and I did a lot of the cleaning and getting rid of the rest of our clothes Just, and everything you know, else. And with cleaning, you know, you can never do enough. You, you do something and then you find more and more and more. It's a big five bedroom thought, house. I thought it was done. Well, and also too, since we had moved our bed out, we found our little mattress topper in the RV that's in this dealership. So at 11 o'clock at night, I'm grabbing the guard in his little uh, golf cart and grabbing this mattress topper so we have something to lay on in our thank, empty thank house. Thank God he was cool. I yeah. mean, he, he was super cool uh, taking Jim to the so rig at that hour. That was you late know, Friday. Didn't so, have to do that. So you and I crashed, although she kept working. I'm crashed on this little mattress topper in the floor and this lady is still going like 20 hours into it. Yeah. It's there crazy. was still so much to do. I was just like, I'm but we got up the next morning, we scraped ourselves up the floor, off the floor, <laughs> started cleaning, getting rid of our clothes. We had more to jam into the um, to the storage. And then we're, our, both our cars are like full. <laughs> and, um, and we got rid of a lot. <laughs> but wait, we still had the couch to get into Andrew's apartment. So we cleaned all day Saturday. So we've been now we're going two days straight. Saturday night about 10 o'clock, go back to Mesa, grab the, um, U-Haul that's been sitting there with this couch and my idea was okay we can't make it up through the front door let's get up on his porch and get it through the glass door but that required a ladder and a little faith and you know it was an uneven surface there was a bush rocks. in the way it was rocks and bushes so we put the we put the couch up like this we lifted it up and put it on the rail and got it to a tipping point and I'm holding on a ladder this couch. I'm up couch. there to, to, catch, to catch it. They're down below, and he's standing on a ladder in rocks holding a couch. I just, I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah, I didn't tell her there was a part that, point there where I almost lost my balance. But Andrew and her ran up, got it, and we were able to get the damn thing in the apartment late Saturday night. Yay! Sunday morning, we again, we went back to the house, did a couple other things, and slept on our mattress topper. For the we second, were squatters. Second night in a row, we squatted our own house, our own former house, and we handed the keys to the owner Sunday morning, and we crashed. Yeah, yeah. We've been Crash. staying with a good friend of mine um, out in the East Valley. She's been gracious enough to put us up while we're waiting, and we so appreciate you, Melanie. Yes, we do. Thank we you, Melanie. You. And our dog and her dog have gotten along, Coco and Abby, yeah, very yeah. well. So. And we usually bring Coco here with us, but, you know, she's old, it's hot, and I just don't feel like it's good for her, so we decided to leave her home today. So since we crashed and we took a few days, we've been hanging out, like I said, in the RV, so we thought we would um, show you the RV. Um, we're hoping in next week, so it's this Friday, next Friday it's fixed, and there's a couple minor issues we need the dealer to, to work on. And we're hoping to take our first short trip to Karchner Caverns in, in Southern Arizona, maybe next week. But again, yeah. we wanted to update you because a lot of you <laughs> were asking are us, asking, what's where, going on? where are your travel pictures? Yeah, we're still sitting in Phoenix yeah. in a hot dealership. It's 115 outside. And yeah, yeah, it takes a while to, to cool this rig down too, as you can imagine. It gets really hot. But we've so, gotten to know the inside of it, and, and Sandy's kind of made it our own. So let's show you process. then. You be a Vanna, and I'll be the, the camera person. Okay. Where to start? Um, over here. <laughs> <laughs> so we really like this. You know, here we've got the extra sleeping, and here's that mattress pad Jim was talking about. Um, so lots of extra space here. 
and of course the driver's and passenger seat. We've got lots of storage here, which I love. Um, this is one of the selling points for me. It's just all this extra storage so that we can bring big things. Um, pots and pans down here. By the and way, we don't drive with the, the blind down. I do open the blind. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. saying. Just saying. We turn on the lights. Oh, right. Which one? Whoa, there we go. I'm still learning. So, um, yeah, we put up this, which is kind of cool. I'm, I'm liking this, the knife bar. It's, we, you have to get creative because there's not a lot of space in here. Coming from a big house, these tiny drawers, we're uh, learning to get creative with our space. But we got Jimmy with us. This is our son, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Yeah, he's traveling even, with us. Even above, you got... Yep, we got cupboards above, and I got... I, I've been having so much fun. I got smart, and I got these for our plates and stuff so they don't slide all over the place when we drive, if we ever drive. So there's that. Um, we got the stove, which is kind of cute. Yeah, it's tiny. I've got stuff stored in it right now, but it's pretty tiny. I don't know how much we're actually going to use it, but we did get an air fryer and we've got the microwave. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But we got this full size fridge, which is really nice and this fancy lock. See? It's a nice big fridge. Um, nice big fridge. It's, it's an industrial sized house fridge. Honestly, well, we're not putting any food in it till we are living in it full time. Right, that would just be stupid. And these are magnets that we've had for a long time. I like this one. Which is the theme for Jim and Sandy, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. And then my favorite five-letter word. Relax. Right yeah, below the TV. Yeah, we had to we had to Velcro things down. <laughs> Because, you know, you got to think about that. Everything in here is going to slide. Right. And then we have there our, we're not going to put it on now, our heater when we're cold in yeah, the winter. Yeah, fireplace, which is really nice. And then if you open. No, right here. Yeah, real quick. Do the full banner. Huh? There's our remotes, movies, DV, There's DVD. There's more up here. We got yeah. a sound bar. We're going to get a fire stick. We were going to change out the TV and we decided to do the fire stick instead. But there's that. Uh, more storage up here. I was, I'm sorry, I interrupted These you. Are the, this is our pantry. I'm still working on it, but I'm trying to get creative and I've been a lot of trips to, to Bed Bath & Beyond to get nice. different organizational tools. So there's that. Uh, let's finish in here first. Yes. Here's our dining. This is the dining room. So this is the dining room. Uh, nice, there's storage below here and this can turn into a bed, which is kind of nice. It just all folds down to a flat bed. Coco space, minus Coco. <laughs> I miss her. <laughs> uh, and then the couch has two recliners. Three right recliners. And, oh, three. I always forget. The, yeah. the middle one reclines also. Yes. Uh, more storage. This one has so much storage. This rig has a lot more storage than some of the other rigs do. Uh, this one? Yeah. There we go. Uh, but we've been putting our own little homey touches on it, which is kind of nice. Tree of life. Tree of life. I love it. The clock I need a battery for. Figuring that out. This is kind of messy, but the shower. Can you get in there? Yeah. The shower with a nice. Okay. Alrighty. So. Come on in here. We'll do the bathroom last. How's that? The bathroom last. Let's save the best for last. Right. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. I'm trying to. Okay. Okay. What is this? This is the bedroom. <laughs> Lots more storage. Um, like I said, we're just kind of getting our stuff together here. 
we could fit a washer dryer in here. Uh, it's equipped for it, but we decided to, can you see? Yeah, hang clothes. Yeah, we decided to use it as an actual closet instead and laundromat it for now. We may change our minds down the road. But see, storage I was talking about, this one, this particular model has a lot more storage than others and that was one of the selling points for us is all this extra cupboard space. Squirrel. <laughs> and I was hanging stuff and our dream catcher fell off the wall. No, we've lost our so dreams. Yeah, we're going to have to. It's kind you, of you didn't catch there. my, we lost our dreams. Yeah. And more storage up here, which we haven't figured out yet. So plenty of storage. Yeah, yeah, lots of storage. And so it's got the two pop outs. This part pops out. Um, and then in here it pops out. Bathroom. Bathroom, bathroom. This is where something takes place. It, I think they know what that is. I found the best rug. See, look at that, it fits perfect. <laughs> I was so excited about this find. World Market, love that place. But yeah, more storage. And then below. And below. Hey, okay. see, I wasn't kidding. I've been doing these. Yep, there's her liner. Yep. Rolling with my nomies. Whoa. <laughs> Here, you got to show it. There you go. Rolling with my nomies. Rolling I... with my nomies. <laughs> and the shower. All nope. right. So, that is all she wrote. Yep. We just wanted to catch you guys up and um, let you know that we're still here in Phoenix. We're here. We will um, update you, and as we get going, we will be doing a travel vlog. Absolutely. So, stay tuned. Thanks for hanging with us. We're just going with the flow, you know, because... It's all you can do. Why get upset about it? And guess what? We have no timetable. We have no schedule. We're having fun. Yes, we we, we are. really are having fun. Mwah. <laughs> See you guys later.